Andrew, Jail, Virginia Giffrey. Let's see what happens. I hope you like the video. If you do like the video, please do like it. And I know you're watching, so just subscribe. You can't imagine how it helps. But thank you anyway. Thank you so much for watching. Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. So Andrew, he's got to be sweating bullets. I mean, you know he knows, she knows, other people know, Ghislaine Maxwell knows, and who else is gonna know after she starts talking? You know, what's almost funny is I believe there was a, some sort of a financial settlement that she got, uh, Virginia Giffrey uh, was Roberts, um, and that is probably the freedom, the money that she needed to move forward with what she's doing now. I'm sure there was a, some sort of a, a non-disclosure situation, but for whatever reason, it's not stuck. And, uh, oh, remember Ghislaine Maxwell? That, that was the name. They were all going, what is it, Ghislaine, Ghislaine, who is that? And now we all know it perfectly. We know who Ghislaine Maxwell is, and uh, we'll forget her pretty soon because she'll be locked up for probably the rest of her life. But Andrew, is he going to escape that fate? Because I don't think Charles is going to come to his rescue on a white horse. So let's see what the cards tell us. It's the only way we're going to get anywhere with this. I can't wait. Okay, so this Sola Busca Tarot uh, are great cards. These are museum quality, and uh, these are uh, in the era of the Italian Renaissance. So love these cards. Los Carabio, amazing box to come in. Look at that. And uh, you really feel like you got a great gift if you got these. The book is pretty cool, too, but it's not in color, but it's a lot of interesting story. I mean, you have to be interested in reading this to kind of get through the book, but there's some good tips on divination in there, too. The cards um, are great. I mean, they're slick. They're big. Um, so that's something that makes them a little bit hard to use. But, um, you know, these date back from around, like I said, the mid to late 1700s, I guess. And they're an assemblage of different uh, uh, examples of cards from a couple different uh, museum pieces, I think, or private collections. And then they put them together to make this whole 78 card stack. But, I mean, look, I mean, they're gorgeous. You see them, how beautiful they are and colorful. It's just hard to use them. Um, you just have to commit to uh, how are you going to uh, work out your divination. So... Really love these cards. I'm so glad I got them. Solobuska Tarot. And, um, but honestly, I don't use them that often because they're a little tricky to use. Gosh, and look what a mess I made trying to do this. You know, this is a good way to mix the cards up. And uh, if you want somebody, if you're doing a reading and you want to kind of get their energy into the cards, I mean, look how much you have to handle them to get them back together. So that's all good uh, for me as far as getting the uh, cards uh, mixed up with some good uh, juju. Prince Andrew, but before we get started, let's have just a few seconds of meditation. That's all it takes. So, Prince Andrew, man. So we're just going to see what the cards can tell us about his situation. I mean, we know already, all right, that women, not just the woman involved, but women are saying that they know about him having been with him. Um, I wonder if it matters uh, if he knows whether or not she was under age at the time. I mean, it seems to me that would be his only out, is if he can somehow prove that he had no way of knowing she was under age. And what's funny is it's been written that uh, Virginia Roberts probably wouldn't have even pursued this if he had just uh, apologized in the very beginning. So now the millions of dollars that she's won from in the Jeffrey uh, Epstein uh, situation where she was supposed to not uh, reveal any of the people she's had sex with, well, that's that the non-disclosure is out the window, and she's got millions of dollars now to back her up in this fight for women, is how she puts it. So six cards for Prince Andrew. How is he going to fare in this thing? There's three 
So yeah, we wonder how in the world did all this come to pass? And how much does he did he know? Um, I guess really what I'm concerned with for the first part of this full Celtic cross, I want to know, did he understand that he was having sex with an underage girl? And then for the last part, uh, I want to see if the cards can tell us whether he'll escape uh, prosecution. I don't think he's going to escape spending money on it, either through uh, defending himself or a payoff to her or both. But she said she won't take a payoff. At least she's she's indicated she wouldn't take three and a half uh, pounds or five million dollars, the equivalent. So did he know? Did he know she was underage? Signifier card. Okay, so we start out here with the six of pentacles. The six of pentacles. And um, the six of pentacles is, oh boy, I can't recall what the six of pentacles is. I have such a hard time with this deck because it's not an easy deck. Uh, to uh, remember. So I'm going to have to use my cheat sheet. Six of Pentacles. Oh, yeah. So the Six of Pentacles. Oh, this is interesting. This is uh, typically uh, depicted in the Rider Waite deck as someone, uh, like an official, doling out money to, like, the needy. And so the signifier of this card is the Six of Pentacles, so doling out money to where it's needed. That's very interesting as a signifier. Is that is that Andrew who gets needs the money doled out to him because from what I understand the crown is not uh, backing him on this defense. Interesting. The uh, challenge to that then is this six of wands and uh, the six of wands, six of wands, again, I'm just a blank. I have such a hard time with these cards. I probably should use them more so I wouldn't have this uh, stall. Six of wands is uh, travel, empowerment, Oh, the Six of Wands, as a matter of fact, is victory, is what the Six of Wands is. So, yeah, this is typically uh, in the Rider Waite deck uh, depicted as a fellow on a horse, a knight on a horse, with a victory laurel uh, flying above him. So we have the symbolism of the victory laurel, and the challenge of this is, is victory. And this fellow's got his pants hanging down. So this doesn't speak to me of victory, or maybe this fellow feels like he's been victorious, but he's been left a little exposed. And with his um, lantern open, that light can get blown out. So this is all a very, very tenuous victory, in my opinion. So having the money doled out is challenged by this sort of um, uh, flimsy victory. And again, if I didn't mention it, wands are uh, forward uh, movement action plans. Interesting. So the base of this reading then for... Um, for Prince Andrew, did he know? Did he know that she was underage? Money being doled out. He paid. He paid money, presumably, unless he just got a freebie because he's a prince. Three times, uh, Geoffrey says she had sex with him, and uh, this victory here is uh, left a little exposed. Huh. That's interesting. The base of this reading then is this uh, four of pentacles and the four of pentacles is holding on to your value and i have to say this woman here is having a very um a difficult time holding on her value she's laden with it just on one shoulder she's managed to keep one from slipping away but she's really having uh, an issue moving forward with this so that's really very interesting as a matter of fact Let's see. The past of this reading as to whether he knew, did he know she was underage? Holding on to your value. Holding on was the base of this thing. Interesting. The past of this then is this 10 of the uh, major uh, arcana. The 10 of the major arcana, and again, I just have to use the cheat sheet because these cards are not obvious. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Wheel of Fortune. Is that the Wheel of Fortune? Okay, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fortune. 10. Wow. So in the past, we had uh, the Wheel of Fortune. And I wonder if this is just talking about, you know, his luck. He had luck in the past. I don't know. We'll have to continue with the reading. Uh, if I have to use that cheat sheet, I hope you forgive me. But that's why I have it. Uh, in the sky of this reading, with this 8 of uh, Pentacles, and uh, so the Eight of Pentacles, and now I'm just uh, brazenly just going to pull it out, 
Uh, get, oh yeah, this uh, this is like the it's typically the apprentice in a, in a typical right away deck. But in this uh, very cryptic deck, this has got uh, is where you practice your craft until you get it down perfectly. But in this Eight of Pentacles, we've got everything. You know, a lot has been produced, and there's something right here that's still perfectly finished. But look, it looks like it's been the death of this person to get it done. So in the sky of this reading, with this Eight of Pentacles. I guess what I'm going to say this is representing to me is that um, his craft, his getting this done, has been really um, a chore. Wow, this is very interesting. Uh, did he know? Did he know that she was underage? And then the uh, final card uh, for this then is this Queen of Swords, Swords of Truth, Justice, Rules, and Law. This Queen of Swords is Virginia Giffrey, and the truth. Is going to come out in the end. So he knew. So that's very interesting. Now let's finish up the Celtic Cross and then I'll uh, go back over time. I need four cards to finish this reading. So the self, and I'm going to try to put them here like you would in a typical uh, Celtic Cross. If not, I'll go back to my regular uh, pattern that I always use. I'll probably have to put them over here in a kind of a skewed uh, manner. So the, the first part of this is did he know she was underage? And we ended up with a likely outcome of this Queen of Swords, and this has to be uh, Virginia Roberts Giffrey uh, with the truth in her hand. Um, the uh, self of that question as to whether he's going to pay uh, pay for this monetarily, um, or even in the courts, is he going to pay for what for, for his guilt? So we start out here with the number twelve. So this is the Knight of uh, wands. The knight is the fellow who's going to take that wand, that action, that plan, and move it forward as best as he can. But I've got to tell you, his horse seems a little goofy to me. So this knight is is how this uh, is this is the self of this question. This knight is Andrew with that plan, trying to move it forward. Okay, the uh, environment that that's in then. Is uh, so. This is a pentacle, and which pentacle is this? This is the um, this is the knight of, of pentacles. Pentacles are value, and this knight of value. Typically, the knight is the guy in the in the royal suite who's going to take his uh, issue and make it happen. That's his job. He's a warrior. So the environment that that's in is this fight for value. That's interesting. So the environment that this um, knight is with this plan is this fight uh, for value. The hopes and the fears of this, then, is judgment. So, yeah, this is judgment. So the hopes and the fears is that if this had come out at this last card as judgment, I would say, oh, yeah, Carmen's going to catch up with him. But the hopes is that judgment prevails, and the fear for him is the very same thing. So that's interesting. And then the likely outcome of this whole thing for whether he'll pay the price is this star. Interesting. So the star uh, tells us that there's hope. Okay. Oh, interesting. I mean, I leave it hanging right on that, that there is hope uh, that, that, that he will pay a price. It can also mean that the person is the star and they're carrying the hope. But uh, I don't know. In this reading, I feel like, of course, you know, I, I'm sure my conscious self is interfering, but I feel like this uh, star is telling that there's, uh, there's something to, to hang on to. Very interesting. So we'll go over it all once again, and uh, we'll see uh, if I end up liking this layout. So we started out here with the Six of Pentacles, which is uh, really distributing the wealth. And it was challenged by this, um, how many uh, do we have here? The Six of uh, uh, Wands, which is victory. So, challenge, so doling out the value here is challenged by this victory. So, okay, so pay, paying for underage sex is challenged by this weak, exposed victory. And then the basis of this whole thing with this four of pentacles is uh, trying to hold on to your worth, trying to keep what you've got, okay, not spilling it. In the past of this, with the um, Wheel of Fortune, this is telling us that he's had luck in the past. That's all it's saying to us. And then with the Eight of Pentacles in the sky here, the apprentice who's practiced his craft and got it down perfectly, but look, he's he's practiced it to death. Okay? And then the likely outcome with this Queen 
of swords. This for me is Virginia Roberts Giffrey, and she's holding the truth in her hand. So he knew that she was underage. He paid for it. Uh, yeah, and he felt like uh, oh, that's where we are there. Now the for the last part, we want to know is he going to pay a price? Okay, the self of that question is this uh, knight of uh, wands, which wands are plans. So he's the knight, he's fighting for this plan, and it's in the environment of the other side, because you notice these knights are opposing. One's facing one way, one's facing the other way. So this other knight of value is 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 the uh, environment that his plan is in. This, this knight of true value is fighting against his plan. The hopes and the fears, uh, being this judgment card is, um, you know, he fears judgment and we hope for judgment. So that's karma uh, right there. And then the likely outcome with this star card is telling us that uh, stars are hope. And so for me, this is hope, a hope that he may pay for it. Okay, so there's there's a stronger, uh, bright possibility that this may uh, come to pass that he will have to pay for it. But then again, it could also be that uh, he has some hope of escaping that judgment. So we'll see. But that's the reading today. Well, there we have it. I mean, that's what the cards say. So you tell me what you think. You know, the cards are never wrong. I might be wrong. So tell me what your interpretation is. I'm open to it. I read every single one of your comments. I don't miss it. But uh, I may not reply always, but I do get it. So tell me what you think. That's what I think. I'm Mark, My Journey Through Tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by. We'll do it again. Ciao for now. You really make a big difference. Thank you.